After creating a dual boot of Ubuntu desktop on my Windows PC uh, by, install, by attaching an external NVMe drive to um, my PC and installing Ubuntu on the external drive, I noticed that um, the Grub bootloader inserted itself as the primary bootloader and it would only work at displaying or giving me the option to boot, boot Ubuntu or Windows if that external drive were attached and that wasn't a condition I wanted to have. I only want to use it very selectively, not be forced into uh, always having that external drive attached. So the question for me became, how do I get my Windows 11 boot manager to load on startup? Well, it was helpful for me to learn that uh, the boot manager didn't vanish. I thought perhaps the Ubuntu had stomped over it and it was lost. It was actually a very straightforward problem. All I needed to do is move the Windows 11 boot manager from boot option number two to boot option number one. Um, this is done in the UEFI firmware settings, or in other words, BIOS, and let me show you how that's done. Okay, so when I attempt to boot up, I'm always prompted by the grub loader, which isn't installed because I installed the Ubuntu on an external uh, M2 SSD. And so in order for me to boot grub and see the menu and choose between Windows or Ubuntu, I'd have to plug in that external drive and I don't want to have to do that. So I want to put back the Windows because right now I have to connect an external keyboard and um, and then type exit and then only then will it boot exit the grub default to the boot partition on the lap uh, on the uh, on the pocket PC stick and boot windows okay let's go ahead and start by clicking on the Windows start button clicking on settings And inside settings, type recovery and go to recovery options. And you'll see advanced startup here and the restart now button. Go ahead and take restart now. Confirm that. Okay, again, because of that problem, I'm going to have to just type exit. But now you see it's going to start up with the uh, advanced options. Okay, we want to go down to troubleshoot. And go to advanced options. and go to UEFI settings and go ahead and restart now I'm in the UEFI settings so I want to go over to boot and uh, see Windows Boot Manager is in second so I want to go ahead and move that up. And there I have moved Windows up. Um, okay, so it's now in the number one position here. And we want to come save changes and exit. Confirm with yes. Okay, so uh, at this point now, what I want to see is I want to reboot and I want to see it uh, or shut down and see it come up uh, cleanly going straight into Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down now.
And now that is complete, I'm going to go ahead and power up. And it should go straight into Windows. And it is. Excellent.